Hello guys, welcome to our channel Newbie Solutions. So lots of people requested us to do the installation video in English. So let's get started. So I am doing to show you the installation of the latest version of VCBox 8.0.1. VCBox in an open source software. This system is mainly used for the call center setup, outbound, inbound and the predictive dialing is performed by this software. So here is the link and the vcbox.com even our on our description box below you can find the url link so here you can find the os version even kernel version asterisk version dart libpri for the iso you need to click the VCBox installation disk and you have to save it and you have to burn on the CD, DVD or the pen drive. After mainly the bootable media, you have to insert it in your server or the system. And after insert it, the first screen will be this. You have to select VCBox version 8 for the fresh, fresh installation you have to enter it after the entering you will get the first login prompt so here is the login prompt you have to type root and the password is V I C I D I A L V C dial and hit enter. For the LAN setup, you have to type YAST LAN Y A S T space L A N. By default, it takes from the DHCP. If you don't have DHCP server, you have to set up by static IP address on the VC box. So you have to go to the edit. You have to use the tab and the enter key. By this, you can go to the edit. So here you can see by default, it is taken by dynamic address. You have to select statically assigned IP address. After that, you have to put the IP address as per your network. I am using the network 172.16.4.0. So I am giving the IP address 172.16.4.29. And the subnet marks as per your network, I am using slash 24. On the next prompt, you can find the hostname and the DNS. You can change here the hostname. And the next is given name server one. That's mean DNS. You have to give the DNS. If you have DNS server on your premises, then you have to put the IP address of the DNS server. I don't have any server here, so I'm giving the global server. Here is the IPv4 gateway. So my gateway is 172.16.4.1. That is my router. And you have to select the port number. Ethernet 0 I'm using. If you have lots of LAN port, so you have to properly first you have to decide which port is connected then you have to select the device press ok
so now we are going to check the network setup is good or not so now I am pinging my router so it's pinging perfectly now I am pinging google.com to check my internet connection is good or not so here's I find good so the next procedure we are going to OS install the command is OS hyphen install for the OS installation I have little bit less memory on RAM so that is the reason it is giving the warning but don't worry on the on the standard server there will be might be there is a you know the the one GB more than one GB you have get so the first thing is the uh, the layout keyboard layout or language selection procedure I'm giving as English next you have to select the time zone so my time zone is Asia and the Kolkata now the next screen is for the partition I'm just leaving the partition I don't need any special partition for this setup so just I'm um, hit the next now the password you have to set the password for the root user you have to type twice for the confirm and the next so next for the installation we have to hit the install button even you can find the all the details whatever we are already given so the install hit enter it will take some time for the waste installation after the installation you have to reboot your system once please eject the CD or the DVD now the login prompt has come the root is the username and the password already I have given so here's the the login prompt after the after login so here we need to update the all the drivers make sure your internet is working properly so the command is cypher up hyphen y hit enter it will take some time after that it will ask for the reboot so after the reboot again you have to type the login so now we are going to install vcbox so the command is vi ci B O X hyphen express. So I am the express command actually used for the standalone server. If you are going to use clustering, you know the CTI, the, the you have to break the CTI and the SQL server and the web server. So you need to command another command. On the next video, we will show how to clustering. So VC box express and the hit enter for the standalone server. So uh, VC box express installation. Yes. Nothing much to do here. It will be take automatic from the net. After this, you have to reboot your system for the clean loading. You can type reboot command or the 
I N I T space six. Both the command for the reboot. So here's the login prompt. You have to type the login and the password. So we have installed the VCBox. So for the firewall, you have to type the command just firewall and the hit enter. It will be yes. So here is the screen for the firewall. So you can enable or disable or you can set up as per your network and you have there is a one more command important command that is yes you can check the all the services network services here here you can see the http server uh, bootloader here is there even the service manager is giving you uh, for the all the services you can list it here which services is enable or active or disable you can find all the services here so here you can list it the all the services apache and asterisk here so here is given the disable so i am going to enable this one i have done it already okay this is the most important command you're finding if there is any services is running or not you can go to yes and check the service is running active or there is an inactive state Here is the one more important command if config for the check the IP address. Here you can see Ethernet 0 is giving IP address 172.16.4.29. So now we are going to open on the browser. So here is the browser first first screen here. So click on the administration. So the password and the username is username is six 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 four times six and the password by default it's one two three four after that you can change it. So here the initial setup. Now this is the password where we can put even you can change the default registration password. You don't need every time you have to change. Here is a show the new password is for on for the web whenever you are logging to the web you have to give this part password it is better you are giving some dif difficult password or the you know the the some alphabetic and the numerical with the special character it will be better for you So here is the time zone setting for the voicemail. You can set up it as per your zone. So I am done with this. Actually the default phone login password is for phone setup. So I have done this one. Okay. So again, I have to log in with my password, whatever I have given. So click on the administrator and the password, you know, the windows I am already given that one. 
so here is the graphical user interface of the VCDL here you cannot get the permission you have to first go to the user 6666 the admin user you need to change access admin interface option here is there so I have to put all the one one means allow zero means you have no access for this as per your recommendation as per your need you can do this one and you can make more user so this is the most commonly used by the call center or the telephony system uh, this is the, the most thing is this is the open source software so you don't need to pay anything but if you need any technical you have to pay to the VC dial they are always available thank you for watching if you have any question you can mail us or the Skype